Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi, a little bit of Earth 2 and Anchor update video. You guys, for new, welcome. For not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello, Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Comment, thing, like, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. And uh, become a member and join Patreon. Uh, Raythex, IDTH, domain name, uh, domain name, and this is not financial advice ever. So there's a couple things to go over. I'll start with uh, Anchor and then I'll go with uh, Earth 2 a little bit and then we'll go and uh, get onto the VV and Omi stuff. So everyone pay, comment F in the chat to pay respects to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been down about 4.4% over the last couple of hours, down to just above $21,000 and is bringing all of the altcoins down with it. Anchor is down about 3%. It's still, which is not as bad as I thought it would be considering Bitcoin is down 4.4%, but uh, it's down to about 2.9 cents. So it is under that 3 cents still. Uh, and also bought OMI down with it as well. OMI is down to 0091. So it's just above 0009. I'll get more on OMI in a second. But first, I do want to go over a couple of things for Anchor. Anchor had said we also have a GALXE campaign live. So the Anchor X Chili's AMA credentials by Anchor Staking. Uh, you can view it on GALXE.com. Not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but they have about 700,000 followers over on the Twitter. So that's a pretty cool partnership to have. Very exciting for them. And they also mentioned uh, yesterday, or Oceanland mentioned yesterday, if you go to Oceanland underscore IO, over on the Twitter. Not a ton of followers, about 32.5 thousand of them, but they are a game saying we're excited to announce partnerships. Together we will build a better and stronger community. They announce a whole bunch of crypto, but then Anchor is number one and it is for their Ocean Land partnership. That is a play to earn game. It seems that you could be able to earn all of these cryptos, including ARPA, Bounce, Bell, Burger, CLV, Matter, ONX, Prom, Rocky, Sakura, Nav, and Lit, obviously in conjunction with Anchor. Uh, so comment down below if you know what that is. Comment down below if you think I should get into it. Uh, and yeah, let's go to Earth 2. So we're going to start with Jules. And your world explorer over on the Twitter says, Eager to strategize. Can't wait for Earth 2 version 1. How will we collect jewels later in the game? And Shane Isaac goes and responds, That makes two of us. Put it this way. You won't be able to just click a few buttons to collect over all your properties, as is the case now, without having some things in place. So currently right now, all you have to do is just go to your resources, click uh, claim all your jewels, and then you claim them. That's it. He's Shane is telling us whether it's side droids, whether it's something to do with Mentar, something that hasn't been released yet, or even something to do with Essence, more on Essence in a bit. Uh, there are other things that you'll have to do in order to, cl to claim those. Are they going to be things just to add utility to the game for Essence or for other things? Or are they just like, hey, we want to make jewels scarce and how many people are going to be willing to do these steps to do them so jewels may or may not become a rarity depending on how many people are willing to do this uh again if you have a lot of property and you're getting i don't know 100 jewels a day me myself i only get like 20 jewels a day give or take um but they're about nine cents each right now if they do become rarer i do see that going up quite a bit remember when they first started they were 30 40 cents the gold ones were upwards towards a dollar uh maybe they might get get those back at some point anyway moving on you do have a new button over near where your uh, essence is. You do have the button for ether. You go and you click that and you get the ether. You could choose to keep the ether if you want to. I don't really understand the reason to keep the ether. I would just transform it into essence. That's what I've always done. So I have zero ether. I have 41,000 essence now. So uh, just absolutely amazing. And then if you go to the, uh, for some people, you have sidroid management and then dispensable ether as well. So the sidroid management is you could build side droids, uh, I think on one per property. I would, however many properties you have, I would leave one or two properties without them just because if you go and sell a property, that side droid goes with it. So I would maybe say, oh, hey, here's one without a side droid. Let me move this side droid to this Mentar without one so I could sell this and not have to give my side droid away. Again, I'm not doing this because this does cost essence. I don't know the return that you're going to get from this, but I feel like Essence is going to be a couple of dollars per Essence. I do not want to uh, risk. I'll let other people do it. I'll, I, I don't know if staking is going to be a thing in the future, but as people are using Essence on this, like they've done with uh, jewel crafting and all that, I just want to make sure to, to keep mine. Currently, I'm estimating there's over a million side droids building now. <laughs> um, and comment down below if you know an actual number. Shane says, swarms of side droids are on their way to make their mark and presence felt on Earth 2. Hashtag rating is, the on is only the beginning of the story. But yeah, the, the essence, I'm, I'm going to say, is going to be either staked and people are going to use it for crafting jewels and use it for side droids and use it for other things. And when it goes to the markets and we get listed, 
I want to have mine and I want to have a little bit to sell. So I'm keeping mine right now. Anyway, moving on to Vivi. First things first, we do have Rootless Girl. Shout out to her uh, with the weekly market pulse from uh, the 27th of February up until yesterday. Uh, and the active wallets were up. We have about 15,602 active wallets. Those are people that made a trade. Either way, uh, you know, buying, selling, what have you. They were active for that week. Uh, the trades were about 40,669, which is down almost 20%. So there's a lot, which I, I think is good. There's a lot less people selling. Uh, you do have the buyers, which is also down about 8%. So 6,593 people were buying and 9,065 people were selling. So you have you have the buyers that are going down, but the sellers that are going up, which doesn't speak great for the overall. But I will say this. Overall, that's not good for the people, in my opinion, that are selling because they are selling pretty close to all time lows. The people that are buying, however, again, take it back to Pokemon. You don't have bear markets. You don't have, you know, bull markets. You just have, hey, we're in a buyer's market or we're in a seller's market. Right now, we are 100% in a buyer's market because there's so much selling going on that if you're a buyer like me, this, this is good. Uh, the tokens minted were down about 52%. 21,112 were minted. That's just because we had a couple of days where we haven't minted that much, uh, or, or there just weren't that as many drops as there were the week prior. And the minters were actually up 10,645, up about 10%. Uh, we did have 182 merged accounts, and the tokens transferred via merge were 3,527. Uh, so not a ton there. Uh, moving on for uh, VV Hispano, or at VV Hispano over on the Twitter, saying Hispanic family of VV official. You're all invited to the first Hispanic space meeting in history, Thursday, March 16th, moderated by uh, at Doviskull. Uh, proud to have the best possible guests comment with info topics you would like to discuss, info uh, on that post. And uh, I may or may not stop in for that. I'm not sure. I'll keep you all posted. But speaking of collecting, I went over on uh, Marvel. Let me find it for you. Cosmic Marvel said the first trailer for Empower from executive producer Zoe Saldana has been released. That's just when they take a bunch of the women from Marvel and they say, hey, how'd you like playing this character, etc. Four episode original series is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And I went and tagged Angela Bissett. I said, great to see, uh, who, who played Queen Ramonda. I said, great to see I'm Angela Bissett in there. Marvel made digital collectibles of her character and I purchased 55 of them. Hey, Angela, will you please your biggest fan by coming on my podcast would mean a lot. And there's my 55. Um... Uh, again, I did not buy her for the ROI. I bought her just because Queen of Ramonda, uh, you know, M Mother of Black Panther has, you know, she was like three dollars and and forty eight cents. So I was like, this is this is too cheap. Uh, and then I just think they're fun to stack. But comment down below if you'd like to see her on the podcast. This is a little bit of a morbid subject here, but I think it should be addressed. Uh, we have Oscar Richard Fonterra over from Facebook saying, "Imagine when baby boomers and Gen X start to croak." <laughs> How many of us have messy backup plans that may cause our collectibles to be forever lost? I'm sure we have high percentage of users that have all three that have all of their passwords hidden and secret from family. Imagine 10 years from today on how scarce things could get for today's existing supply. And yeah, that's something to think about. Vivi, I don't think has ever said what to do when someone dies. I, I, I don't know what I mean. I guess you could have them turn on transfers back on just for that particular person and transfer. I, I, I don't know. Or maybe you could merge accounts. But I'm... Um, yeah, comment down below if you have any plans for that. Also, shout out to uh, Lori Brenner, uh, Queen Queen Vivi at the Queen's Court, who went on and got Josh Emmett over on her spaces today, the Queen's Court. Uh, Josh Emmett is a professional mixed martial artist, is a prize fighter for uh, the featherweight division for UFC. He was on there and he was talking about uh, how he is big into Vivi, had never sold anything, and big into Omi. Unsure if he's bought and sold that and traded it or just bought and hold. Um, but even, I think he said like his friend's kids ask about NFTs every now and then he has a, uh, he has an NFT on autograph, I think IO, and then he just didn't buy his own. And speaking of autograph, you do again, shout out to Lori Renner is just amazing. We have Dylan Rosenblatt, who's CEO and co-founder of autograph, who'll be on the Queens court next week. Go to her. Oh my God. Go to her Twitter, follow. And just everything that she does is just gold. She's like the Jerry Bruckheimer of VB. So there's a couple of people that had questions about the logo because I talked about that in the last two videos and there there was a little confusion on how many there are or how many there were because David had said, David and Dan had both said that they were out of cards at one point. And I think that they were, but maybe they just didn't make enough cards and they had to airdrop a couple people. I know they ran into a couple people. I think it was at London. It was one of the cons or maybe it was Singapore where they got the email addresses of people and their VV usernames and then they airdropped them the logo. Uh, 
But to my knowledge, uh, I think Alex was on VV Magic's live stream a couple weeks ago, uh, and the topic of unredeemed logos uh, came up for like people that just threw away the card or whatever the case was, uh, and asking if they would be burned. And it wasn't a super definitive answer, but he was leaning that way. And I believe that he said that after two years, that would be the next likely step. If they were to burn the rest and there were only 350 to 400 of them, that would make them even more scarce, take away 20% of the supply. And again, a couple of people have multiple of them, like myself. Uh, yeah, gonna be super scarce. Anyway, moving on. MCP rollout. Uh, you can, if you get this email saying, we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected and enrolled to participate in VV's retroactive points calculation beta test program. As a participant of this program, you'll be the first to experience new, expect bugs, and sometimes confidential, shh, it's a surprise, features and enhancements. Your feedback and participation is pivotal pivotal, pivotal in shaping the future of VV. We're excited to have you on board. We look forward to your feedback, VV team. Unfortunately, that is not my email. I still do not have, I do, I do not have that. I do not have crypto pay in. I have doo doo. Um, but we, they did roll out a couple of updates yesterday. They readdressed issues causing frequent account logouts. I haven't had many people message me about that lately. Several weeks ago, yes, there were a ton, but they are readdressing those issues. I think they are fixed based on the amount of lack of messages that I've been getting. Uh, and there are also further enhancements to crypto pay-in functionality based on initial beta testing. More testers are going to be added. I hope I get it. And then you do have master collector program ranks, levels, and points that are in beta is included in this release and testing will commence in the coming days. So shout out to people for that. Um, in good news, we have Blockworks reporting that NFTs are not securities, German financial regulator says. So shout out to them for that. Going on to some VV sales. we uh, They did sell out today's drop, which was the first appearance of the Phoenix. Uh, a lot of people were saying, no, why isn't this 5,000 mints? But a lot of people last week were complaining that the 5,000 mints of the first appearance of Pepper Potts and Happy Hogan and Tales of Suspense 45, they just couldn't get, like myself, I couldn't get it either. Uh, but this one, I, I, I slept through it. I, just, I didn't get it, or I think I was working out. I was doing something. And uh, so I missed it, uh, but they all still sold out. That's an ex extra 100 grand that VV had grossed uh, just on the sales, not including the uh, not including the secondary market. And then we have a couple of things. We have the, we have the Finding Nemo concept art that is going to take place tomorrow on the 10th. That is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They are $30 per poster, but the posters are pretty cool. You have uh, the common, the peeking through the coral. That's pretty dope. Uh, my favorite, though, is the uncommon, which is Grab Shell Dude. It is Marlin holding on tight to his new friend Crush as they serve the, surf the EAC. That one's kind of my favorite. Only 955 of those. Uh, and then Time for School, which is like whatever. Uh, only 555 of those in Ultra Rare. The other Ultra Rare is the drop-off. Uh, same thing, 555, where Marlin is going to go drop off um, Nemo. And the last one is Be Careful Dory. There's only 355 of these. Take away 90, that's 265 of the Secret Rare. These are all first editions. Those are, those are pretty cool. But speaking of things that they have announced, they have just announced the Rambo... Uh, NFTs as well, and there's only one collectible of them. It it is animated and it is sound, so it is from Rambo 2. It's when he's in the jungle when he has, I think, that Vietnamese love interest. Oh, she's so pretty, and yeah. So it's First Blood Part Two. Um, maybe we should tag Sylvester Stallone in this tomorrow. And there's 2,400 of them though uh, at a at sixty dollars. So let's say 2310 because I keep 90 times 60, 138,000. I don't think they'll sell out. But I also don't think that these are going to go for like $30. I think that these will probably go for maybe $45, uh, You know, at that point, do you want to save the $10 or do you want to pay the extra $10 and get something that you mint yourself? And then you get something that the possibility of getting a real super cool mint. Um, stuff with this, uh, I'll go over that uh, in another video. I'll probably go live for this one because this is kind of cool. Anyway, moving on. I'm not sure who bought this, but the VV comic feed over on Twitter had, it's just an automated like tweet bot thing, says that a Amazing Spider-Man 252, mint number 576, just sold on VV. It was for $12,500. There's only two listings of it left. Um, remember how back in the day, uh, Dr. Profit had said, um, I'm going to take one half, I'm going to buy up half the supply of a certain secret rare. And then I'm going to burn half. I don't know if he's going to, he's going to burn half of his supply, which would be 25% of it, or if he's going to burn everything that he has. But it is, uh, I don't know if this is it, but this is one of the things where it is super scarce. You can have people that are buying. Um, it, it's just super scarce. And it's a secret rare. I don't know of too many other secret rares that you could do that with. I get, 
at the t I guess you now you could it'd be very cheap to do it with the uh, secret rare Fantastic Four like holiday card. Uh, it is signed by them. That I just bought one live on stream yesterday, uh, so I have three of them now, all of them sub one hundred. But that wasn't out at the time uh, that Doctor Profit had said that. So I I'm gonna guess this one, or I'm gonna guess maybe Cigarette Alligator Loki because that was out at the time and there wasn't too much of him. Comment down below your thoughts on that. Anyway, moving on. After calculating MCP points, we had uh, Gwyn Tran, who is uh, a big VV whale. He said, hey, I my account was just suspended for no reason. And literally like two minutes later, he posts, hey, Mitch is fast. He already DM'd me. Thank you, VV community, for your support. Um, I, I, it seems like the support is really on top of it now. Um, comment down below if you have any other experiences with it. So you're gonna people buying stuff. We have Mr41.eth, who is an absolute beast. Again, look at what whales are doing. Whales are accumulating. He goes and posts, so I just made a long-term move that I'm very excited about. I just completed connecting, or uh, sorry, collecting 19 X-Men 1 secret rare. That makes me a 10% shareholder of all secret rare supply. Let's heckin' go. Uh, and picture for reference, that is it. That's the one that it is. Um, again, whales are accumulating. A um, little bit of news from Watcher Guru just in. President Biden calls the double ta double capital gains tax from 20% to 40%. I doubt this passes. I think President Biden is just using this as like a chip. Like, hey, look what I'm trying to do. And then when it doesn't pass, it's like, oh, we'd have funding for this if Republicans would have just passed this. I don't think he expects this to pass. I doubt it will. If it does, say bye-bye to American Chavez. American Chavez going to Puerto Rico going to Portugal, going somewhere else. Again, I don't think this will pass. I love America. I'll stay here for almost anything. But like Meatloaf, I won't do that. Anyway, moving on. We had good old Wes put out a tweet poll uh, before saying, am I the only one who doesn't care if Vivi meets their timelines? Tell me another company doing what Vivi is doing. I'll wait, hashtag buying season. And the only options were, yes, you're the only one that doesn't care versus no, I don't care either. And uh, it was pretty evenly split, but uh, the no, I don't care was winning with about 54% uh, of the vote at the time of that. And it's not that I don't care. It's just that I've invested in tech before. I'm very patient. VV always delivers, albeit a little slowly, but they do always deliver. Anyway, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye to Dashi. Oh, my God. Oh, getting back to the gym. It hurts. All right. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.